When I heard today that he was at Rikers, I mean, just, you know, first of all, I feel much more safe and I feel uh, just elated, like every cell of my being feels like, oh my God, you know, we have done it. We have finally done it. And I hope it really says to all those other predators in the world, we're coming for you next, buddy. You know, really, enough is enough. I always felt like I was unlucky at the time until now, having heard so many other stories where women were raped. But, um, you know, look, that experience uh, made me stop fulfilling my dreams, made me decide to completely change my entire life because I wasn't willing to be, you know, treated like an object. This really is an incredible win for us. I mean, just when I think back two and a half years ago, um, I had just given birth to a six-week-old baby when I came forward publicly. And I honestly, at that time, thought if people could just even hear this and still talk about it within one more week or a, a month, I would have felt like something had been done. So to now be here hearing that he's at Rikers Island, uh, you know, he's, he's already in jail, uh, that, uh, you know, it really makes me super happy to just know that we all stood up and we made a difference that's going to hopefully last. I feel like the fact that he's going to be behind bars will be an actual and literal uh, vision of what we've all felt like we're in because we've felt behind bars. I mean, I know I'll speak for myself only, but, um, you know, for so many years, like 20 plus years with this kind of behavior going on and being so accepted in our daily, I mean, literally daily, I would experience this kind of stuff. So that to know that now he can actually feel just a, a little bit of what we felt, um, you know, makes me feel like we're getting to a place where, you know, humans aren't going to hopefully behave this way anymore. You know, I mean, and I say humans because both men and women, you know, we really have to respect each other. And finally, I feel like somebody's listening and willing to step up and put him where he belongs. I feel like, look, at that rate, the fact that we got uh, this jury to believe us, um, and I say us, and I, in that I really honor those women who stepped up to the plate in the criminal case. Um, I personally have been involved heavily in the last two years with the civil case, and I can tell you it is not fun, and it's um, extremely challenging. So because of them, I feel like, you know, the jurors finally listened, um, and they made a huge step forward and look we always have LA yeah. you know I mean he's hopefully he'll go to prison for life because with those cases um, and with that conviction and hopefully if he gets X amount of years here I mean he's 67 so you do the math